Hi everyone, it's Mermaid Jaffa. Today is a short review of my Suntail Mermaid Monofin. This is a really good monofin to use. I used it in a pool yesterday along with my uh, Dragon Mermaid tail. Uh, yes, there were foot pockets on it, but they're outside ha hanging on the balcony, uh, drying out along with my tail and other swimming equipment. Um, really like the overall shape and size of this monofin. It does have quite a bit of a propulsion to it. It's slightly bigger than my favorite monofin, which is this finis foil. As you can see, it's slightly bigger. I lined it up along with the foot pocket so it's, I'm not cheating with it or anything. So slightly bigger. Um, a few couple of things that I didn't like about the foot pockets was that because it's, I'm more used to using this kind of monofins where the foot pockets are actually on it and your feet are secure inside of it and they don't, the feet don't move around. It took quite a bit of getting used to, to use um, a monofin of this type where the foot pockets are not actually attached to the fin, <laughs> like permanently attached to the fin. So it took quite a bit of getting used to. And also um, when my feet were inside, because the uh, foot pocket size supposedly goes up to a size 13 foot size, there were a bit, lot more room inside the uh, foot pocket itself. Um, luckily, th th there was like a mesh in between the foot pocket, so my uh, ankles went uh, knocking together. So um, the foot pockets, they don't. For me personally, it's not. Um, it's not stable or secure because my feet still moved around inside of the foot pockets. And when I dive underneath to go at the bottom of the swimming pool or the two meter, two meter depth pool, so people know I'm not diving in shallow water in the two meter deep end of the swimming pool. Um, my feet would just slide up and off the monofin and into the back of the neoprene foot pocket. So they never did um, slide out slide out of the uh, foot pockets itself they my feet still stayed inside the foot pockets um, and also when I'm swimming along like this um, sometimes the fin will go like that or like this and then it'll, it just becomes too much of a struggle because then I have to push my feet apart and press down on the fin at the same time to stop it from going sideways um, another thing, one last thing about it is um, this fin will float up before the rest of me does. If you've watched my channel, you know that from other videos I've said that I'm very buoyant and very floaty. So without a fin of any kind, I cannot dive underwater because it's just too much of a struggle to get underneath. <laughs> That's how bad I am with buoyancy. I can swim just fine with a monofin. You know, I can just kick down underneath and as long as I keep moving, I stay underwater. But with this particular fin, um, even if I try to stay underwater, this part will float up first before the rest of me does. So in regards to that, I will have to, have to, have to, I have no other choice because I really want to continue using this monofin because um, it's a step up in size to this one because I was looking for a long time for a, a, another monofin which is um, the next step up in size to use so that I could eventually use my uh, Mahina Murfin because it's just my Mahina Murfin is just too big for me at for my skills at the moment so it's just too big so I'm trying to go in terms of small, medium and <laughs> large Maybe not the right way to go about it when it comes to fin swimming, but that's how I feel uh, comfortable with using um, a different size monofin to go up to a next size. 
So anyway, back to my suntail monofin. Like I said, I probably have to glue in a pair of uh, swim fins so I have more control over how the fin behaves when my feet are uh, on it or in it. So I'll have to glue it on this side. So um, apart from my little problems with the suntail monofin, I think it's still a pretty good uh, fin to use because it's got a really good shape and size and decent propulsion as well. So I would recommend it to, say, a beginner person who's never, ever, ever swum in another type of monofin before, whether they be professional or not. Um, so, yeah, if if you swim in other types of monofin, not, not this brand, I mean like monofin where the foot pockets are secure on it, like this one. Um, swimming in this kind of fin, it takes a while to get used to, I think, because it's not meant to be used in a professional swim training. It's more meant to be used in a swimming playtime. Um, so other than that, it's a pretty good fin and I recommend it to anyone who wants to try mermaiding. And that's it for my review and happy swimming and I'll see you next time. Bye.